Apple's new A16 Bionic is smashing the competition. At least in single core performance, as the multi core in the Snapdragon 8 Plus is not that far off. But at least in Geekbench, the A16 outperforms the Snapdragon 8 Plus by 30%. By the way, if you're following this channel, your CPU's performance will go up by 5%. Pretty crazy and totally legit, huh? In multi-core, the A16 still dominates the Snapdragon, but by a much lower 7%. And what is also pretty interesting is that the last gen A15 chip still outperforms the top Snapdragon CPU. So even if you get the regular iPhone 14 with the last gen chip, you are still pretty much gonna have a faster phone than any Android user. So Apple's chips have always been about a generation ahead of the Android uh, chips. And here we also have some more scores. So this is also the MediaTek 9000 plus processor. So this is a big competitor to Snapdragon. As, and as we can see, it's actually a little bit faster. It's pretty much more the same thing. You know, you can't take these uh, benchmarks too seriously. You know, it depends on what sort of a state uh, the phone is in you know how much how many apps are installed on the phone and such things and obviously as we can see right here the results also don't make that much sense because the a15 chip actually outperformed uh, the a16 in multi-core which really shouldn't happen but you know that's just benchmarks for you you know you can't just benchmark everything there's a lot of variables what is the os doing in the background are there any apps installed you know uh, what kind of a temperature the cpu is running at how's the ram how's the storage there's just so many variables so you know you always have to take these sort of benchmarks with a grain of salt but i just think it's like very interesting you know pretty funny kind of the, the last gen a15 chip on paper you know on benchmarks is still better uh than what uh the competition is offering at the moment so you know good job apple but in reality you know you also have to think about other things for instance apple might have slightly faster processors but a lot of android phones uh have a lot more ram for example so you can keep a lot more apps loaded in the background not that the iphones really struggle with that they do have a lot less ram for instance the new uh, iPhones have 6 gigs of RAM, whereas a lot of Android flagships have 12, 16, 18 gigs of RAM. Uh, but, you know, iOS has also always been a little bit better optimized and such things. So, uh, just very interesting. And, uh, yeah, you know, Apple's still number one. Uh, that's what's the really great thing about Apple is, you know, they're not going to pull... Uh, like what Intel did on the PC side, you know, when they didn't really have competition from AMD, they just sort of stagnated for many generations. Uh, whereas Apple, you know, they're just like competing with themselves, just constantly, constantly improving, which is fantastic.